Hello, my name is Chuti Abdu. I'm a TVET trainer at ESIC TVET School. I'm a teacher of mathematics. We are going to learn together the chapter called Apply Fundamentals of Trigonometry. Trigonometry is a type of mathematics that deals with the relationship between sides and angle of a right angle triangle. By the end of the session, the learner will be able to calculate the angle of a right angle triangle and will be able to calculate the missing sides of a right angled triangle. I wish you all learners who are following me to take notes and to try the exercises that I will give you here on this session. As we know that trigonometry is the relationship between sides and angles of a triangle, we have to see how many types of triangle. We have a equilateral triangle, we have isosceles triangle, then we are going to look together what the difference between isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle. The isosceles triangle is the triangle which has where this side is equal to this one while this angle theta is equal to this angle theta 2. It means theta is equal to theta 2. This, this, this is the right angled triangle which is called isosceles. And equilateral is when we have the triangle with the angle 1 is, is an angle 2 they are different. Angle 2 is different from angle 1. And we have here right angled triangle. So these are two types of right angled triangle. And so we are going to look together how to calculate the sides of triangle and how to calculate the angles of right angled triangle. Let's have an example of a right angled triangle where this side is called opposite side and this, this angle is called angle theta and this side where the angle is lined on is called adjacent side. Uh, this side also is called hypotenuse. So, we, as we have stated that trigonometry is the relationship between sides and angles of a right angle triangle, we are going to study how we can calculate this hypotenuse, opposite side and adjacent side, and how to calculate this angle theta. This, this side, hypotenuse, which is squared, is equal to opposite side squared plus adjacent side squared. Then we are going to use the trigonometric identities to calculate this angle. We, we can use sine angle, can use cosine angle, cotan angle, and tan angle. Uh, sine theta is going to be equal to this opposite side of a hypotenuse while a cosine angle cosine theta is equal to adjacent side adjacent side of a hypotenuse tan theta is equal to opposite side of a adjacent side then cotan theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. Then cotan theta equal to adjacent side over opposite side. Then sec secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta, then secant theta is equal to hypotenuse of our adjacent side, while cosec, cosecant theta is equal to 
hypotenuse of our opposite side. Then after getting that sine theta is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse, cosine theta equal to adjacent side, this is adjacent side over hypotenuse, and tan theta is equal to opposite side over adjacent side, then cotan theta equal to 1 over tan theta, or adjacent side over opposite side, and sec theta equal to hypotenuse over adjacent side, cosec theta equal to hypotenuse of opposite side. It means then we are going to take a simple example to calculate some of the angle and sides to solve the triangle. As we have seen that we are going to calculate the sides of a right angle triangle and to calculate this angle, then you are going to try this question. We have that opposite side is equal to 4, adjacent side is equal to 3, then the theta, we don't know, and we are asking to calculate the hypotenuse. As we know that hypotenuse will be equal to, hypotenuse square will be equal to adjacent side square plus opposite side square. It's, then hypotenuse will be equal to adjacent side plus opposite side opposite side in root. It means hypotenuse will be equal to uh, adjacent side, this one, three square plus opposite side four square in root. Then hypotenuse will be equal to nine plus 16. Hypotenuse will be equal to root of 25. Then hypotenuse equal to five. Then here the answer is five. So we are going to come up with how we can get this angle theta. This angle theta is, is calculated by using trigonometric identities like sine theta, cosine theta, tan theta, and so on. Let's see, sine theta equal to is equal to opposite side of a hypotenuse. Sine theta equal to opposite side is equal to four. Hypotenuse is equal to five. Then angle theta will be equal to sine inverse of four over five. Then angle theta will be equal to here, by the use of calculator, you type 4 over 5, then you can get 0 0.8, then type on second function on your calculator, then type sine, you will get 53.13. This is the angle. It means theta here will be equal to 53.13 degrees. This is an example number two where you are given the hypotenuse, which is equal to 17, adjacent side is equal to 8, the opposite is unknown, is x. Then, you are asked to find this side, which is called opposite side. By using the hypotenuse, hypotenuse square, hypotenuse square is equal to the opposite square plus adjacent side square. It means that 17 square is equal to opposite side x square plus 8 square. It means that 17 square minus 8 square will be equal to x square. Then here it will be 2, 2, 5, which is equal to x square. By putting square root on left side and the right hand side, we shall get 2, 2, 5, 
which is equal to square root of x square by simplifying this square with this root. Then these two and these square roots are going to disappear, will remain with x, the x which will be equal to 15. It means that the opposite side will be equal to 15. It means x will be equal to 15. So we have already finished to calculate the opposite side and we know the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Sometimes you can be asked to calculate the angle theta. Angle theta by using cosine, we can say that cosine theta will be equal to the, uh, the adjacent side of a hypotenuse. Then cosine theta will be equal to the adjacent side which is 8 over hypotenuse which is 17. Then theta will be equal to cosine inverse of 8 over 17. As usual you can use the same method by typing 8 over 17. Then you go on second function then type on cosine then you get the answer. Let's calculate it and then we give you answer. As usual, we can take 8 over 17 and then we type on second function, then cosine. You will get that, you will find 61.92 degrees. It means this angle theta will be equal to 61.92 degrees. This is the angle theta.